Hello again, this is Sickle Yield, and today I'm going to talk to you about geografts. This first tutorial will be about creating a geograft, so if you're only interested in painting one, for example you would like to make your own textures for Daz's geograft genitalia set, you may want to skip to the tutorial that is after this one. For the moment, here I am in Daz Studio, and I've loaded Genesis 3 Mail. The blue texture is not mandatory, that's just for modesty here on YouTube. Oh. I'm going to turn off the Mouth Realism HD and Navel Morphs before I begin, and I'm going to also, in the General tab, set Resolution to Base and Subdivision to Zero. And then I will export as an OBJ for use in my modeling program. I export to DS Scale because Blender can handle that, and Daz's Blender preset is broken. It is rotated incorrectly. So you can fix that manually or use a different preset, and I will freely admit I am lazy. I'm going to import Genesis 3 Mail into Blender. You can use whatever modeling software you are most comfortable with. Okay, there he is. I'm going to save now and often, because while Blender is extremely stable at the moment, it may not be in the next version. You never can tell with Blender because the program is updated very frequently and it's not unusual for sweeping changes to be made. So I'm going to create a tail by grabbing this line of verts down here, or rather polygons, grabbing this patch of polygons above the tailbone there. And remember that you need to add an extra row around the outside because when a geograft is conformed, it needs to be able to cull the outermost ring of verts. So this outermost ring of polygons here will not actually be really visible or used. It is there for merging with Genesis 3 Mail. So having selected those, I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate that and P key to separate it. I right click on that and there's the start of my geograft. And then I just am going to delete the middle polygons here. This is not going to be a very pretty geograft because I'm going to be doing it as quickly as possible, but I'm going to hit Alt-Shift-S and 1, make that into a circle, hit Smooth Vertex over here on the Tools panel a little bit, and then GY to drag that out. You cannot translate or move this outermost ring of polygons at all. They need to stay exactly where they are so that they can blend properly. But you can do whatever you like to this inmost area. So I'm just going to hit E to extrude, make this short tail here, and continue extruding, and then Alt-M to merge the final ring of vertices there. And then I'm going to Alt-right-click on this edge loop down here, Control-R to split edge loops there along that, and hit, let's see, 9? Nine. 9 doesn't look like enough. Control-R, and let's try 20. There we go. And it will divide it 20 times there. And then I'm just going to hit A for all, Z, and then I hit C there to do a circle and hold down the middle mouse button and drag to deselect. And then I'm just going to smooth this a little bit to make a smoother shape. And I've created a crude tail very quickly there. So now I'm going to export my geograft. Actually, if I'm going to rig this with a figure setup tab, which is what I would normally do, I'm actually going to add some groups here first. I'm going to select all of that and add it to the pelvis. So I'm going to go to this data button, object data, it looks like a little triangle made of connected dots. Left click on that, and then in the shape keys button, actually I won't do anything with the shape keys panel because I'm not using that right now. I will go to the vertex groups panel, and you can see that all of the vertex groups from Genesis 3 Mail are now part of that tail. So I'm going to delete most of those actually, because we certainly don't need the thighs and the pinky and all of those. I'm going to delete everything except the hip or pelvis. I think it probably has the hip but not the pelvis because that's how it often imports into Blender. There's the hip. I'm hitting this little minus key over on the right to delete vert groups. There we are. And down here on the bottom panel I'm going to hit this little square with a orange square 
out of the cube to go to polygon select mode and I'm going to hit assign on the vertex group panel to assign those to the hip and I'm going to hide that so I don't accidentally assign anything else to that and then I can use the C key and hold down the mouse button and drag to select the next ring of vertices and hold down control actually I don't even have to hold down control I can just drag like that there we go and I will create another group by hitting the plus sign on the vertex groups hold and double click and then type tail01 and assign and I'm just going to keep doing that down this tail real quick here to create vertex groups. These are actually a bit long and low poly to really work well as a tail rig. I would normally make the tail longer and with more segments as I did in, for example, Children of the Serpent. Those came with a tail. All right, now I have added all of the vertex groups to my tail. The reason I say this does not have enough polygons is because you need to have enough polygons to separate into vertex groups. And adding sub D doesn't really help if a thing just does not have enough bones to bend smoothly. I also need to deal with the UV before I export. So I'm going to go down here to the timeline, hover this cursor over the division here and right click and choose split area. Then drag that down below here to create a new window. And in the lower left hand corner of the window, I will click the button and choose UV image editor. And then if I cl right click on that geograft and tab into edit mode, hit A, you can see that I do have the torso area map here, but I don't really have a map for the rest of the tail. So I'm going to use alt right click around the edges of this tail and control E and mark scene. And then I'm going to also alt right click this right here and again, control E and mark scene. And then I'm just going to hit U and unwrap that. And now my tail has a UV map. The UV map of this torso area no longer matches the UV map of Genesis 3 male's torso, but that is almost unavoidable. The important thing is that I have a UV before I export. There's my tail. I'm gonna export that to OBJ again. Using Daz naming convention again, I'll be SY Geo Tail Space Genesis 3 Mail. They like to have spaces and your vendor name and the name of the figure. There we go. Then back to Daz Studio, I will go to the figure setup panel. I don't have one here, so I'm going to right click down below this list and add pane tab and go to figure setup. There we go. I will right click in the geometry panel and choose add geometry and I will import that wave front that I have there. And this is good. I've got the full sequence here from 1 to 10 with no gaps. I've got the hip. So I'm going to drag and drop this onto the geometry in this hierarchy panel over here. Now, in the hierarchy panel, I will drag each of those bones and drop them onto the one that I want to be the parent. So tail 09, I want to be the child of tail 08, so I will drag and drop that onto tail 08 and just on up the chain. This is much easier the shorter your list of bones is because when you have, for example, more than a thousand bones, like my Singers of Kazor set had, these will not be in order. So I would have to grab bone 105 and drag it for two minutes to find bone 104. But with a 10 bone tail, this is actually pretty easy. I'm actually going to create a pelvis bone, add child bone pelvis under the hip. You get you access that option by right clicking on the hip there. And then I will right click over here on and edit label and give that a capital letter. This is important for the actual rigging part. So I'm actually going to edit name and make hip lowercase here because the name needs to be lowercase but the label uppercase to work with transfer utility later as I wish to use it. Now, I know from experience that the hip and pelvis need to be YZX for their bone order. So under order here, I'm going to right click and choose YZX for both of those. 
The ideal bone order for the tail segments, I don't exactly remember. I want to say ZYX, or maybe ZXY, but let's try ZYX and see if that works. You can actually change this later in a couple of places, or you can even text edit the DUF file later. With a very large item, I will actually mass edit using a text editor instead of trying to do this bone by bone. This looks like it should work for this tail, so I'm going to click Apply Sub D and Create. And it appears to have generated my tail there. That looks all right. Now, to do a simple rig for this tail, I'm going to hit Alt-Shift-W and click to my Tool Settings panel. Alt-Shift-W brings up the Node Weight Map Brush. I'm going to go to the Scene tab and make sure I have the tail selected. And just real quick here, I'm going to hold down left click on that title and I'm going to delete the generated number from the end of that. There we go. And I'm going to click back to the Tool Settings panel for the Node Weight Map Brush. And I'm going to right click in the 3D window and choose Weight Editing and Fill by Bone Selection Groups. And then I will choose Weight Editing again, right clicking in the 3D window, and Weight Conversion and Convert Triax Weight to General Weight. Because the Figure Setup tab currently only generates Triax, but it's easy to convert that to General. So then I'll right click one more time and Weight Editing, Clear Weight, Clear Triax Weight. Now my tail has general weight maps, like Genesis 3 Mail. So if I expand that in the Scene tab, you can see that I've made the pelvis a child of the hip, but I didn't make the tail a child of the pelvis, and that's actually an error. So I'm going to go up here and click on the Joint Editor tool, or Alt-Shift-J. It kind of looks like a bone with a band-aid across it, or a pencil laid across it. Now you can see my neatly laid out bones in my tail there. You can also see that the hip and pelvis, if I click between Genesis 3 male and this, those don't match. But that's actually a very easy fix. I will left click on Genesis 3 male, hold control, left click on the tail, and up here at the top of the scene tab, I will click on the little button and I will choose edit, rigging, transfer rigging figure space. And now they match. So now I'm going to go back to the tail and I'm going to fix my parenting problem by left clicking on tail 01. In the 3D window, I will right click and choose edit and reparent bone. I will click on tail 01 and then I will actually click on the pelvis where I want it to be parented and accept. And Daz Studio crashed. All right, I debated cutting that out, but I decided to leave it in because random crashing when you work with anything to do with bones is a high risk with Daz Studio. It's one of the things that makes rigging a particularly challenging specialty. But I just redid everything that I showed you. It only takes me a couple of minutes when I'm not actually talking. And I will show you the generated weight map that we did. by going to this tool panel, making sure that I have one bone selected in the scene tab, tail 01 in this case. And I'm gonna click on general weights and you can see the red there. As I click down these different bones, the red represents areas where it is painted 100%. And it's only painted 100% here. If I select all of these bones by holding down shift or control and clicking, then I'll go to the Parameters tab, click this up here, and make sure that it says Consolidate Properties, but not Display Separate Items. And then when I bend, it will bend all the bones of the tail up and down. And that actually still bends relatively smoothly, but you can see a little bit of oddness there because there's no smoothing between the bones. So that's very easy for me to fix. I will select all of the bones. And I need to also select all of the geometry, so I'm going to go to Weight Editing, Geometry Selection actually, and select All. And then I'll go to Weight Editing and Smooth Selected. And I'm going to use a very low value of this, like probably 8 and 10 for Smooth Factor and Iterations, and then Accept. And now I have a smoother bend. There's a limit to how smooth it's going to be because I didn't give it a lot of bones as I discussed earlier, but then I'll hit Control E to zero that out. You may notice that the area on the body doesn't look right. I'm actually going to fix that next. First, I'm going to save this to the library because crashing is an extremely high risk with what I'm about to attempt. So I'm going to click on my geograph there and save as.
figure prop asset, I need to find a place in this, the library under people, Genesis 3 male, and I'm going to do anatomy because it is a piece of anatomy, and test tail, and It will ask for my vendor name. I'm going to put sickle yield 2016, product name, test tail, and it's generated an item name for me, and I'll just leave that and click accept. Now if it crashes, I at least have something I can reload. Actually, I probably should go back to the bone editor here, right-click on that, and choose memorize, memorize figure rigging, because otherwise, when I if I have to reload from the library, it may not work correctly. There we go. So now, I'm going to select the geometry of just the parts I don't want to match Genesis 3 male, just the tail bones. So I'm going to clear selection in the 3D window. And in the tool settings, you can see this list because I've selected the polygon group editor. Or excuse me, they're calling it the geometry editor tool now. That's Alt-Shift-G or this button that looks sort of like a connected dot square with a pencil across it. So I'm going to go down and hit the plus sign next to all of the tail bones, but I'm going to leave the hip group there unselected. And I'm going to right click and under geometry visibility, hide selected polygons. So now the only thing that's visible is this tail base area that's going to be the actual graft with the body. So now I'm going to start the transfer utility. I have mine hotkeyed to control T, or there's this button that looks like an arrow pointing up and to the right. For source, I'm going to choose Genesis 3 male, and for target, I will choose the geotail. I will expand the show options button, and I'm going to find the weight maps button here, and I'm going to choose merge hierarchies and respect hidden facets on target. And I'm going to probably leave smoothing modifier and fit to source figure checked. And I'm going to click accept. And it will run, and hopefully it won't crash. This is a very crash prone process. OK, now you can see that that has snapped right to the body very smoothly. I might need to actually turn the smoothing modifier off to get it to graft properly. Let's try that. Yes, it actually fits more closely with smoothing modifier off. So then I'm going to right click in this 3D window again with that selected. I will go back to the geometry editor and geometry visibility, show all polygons. Now, if I select my tailbones and move them, hopefully they still work. They do still work, but this is also now rigged to Genesis 3 male and it works properly with his hip and pelvic bones. Unfortunately, you can see that I have also picked up some hip and pelvic rigging on those tailbone areas. I'm going to go to Alt-Shift-W and look at the pelvic group here. It doesn't look like it actually picked up anything there, so it must be JCMs that I'm picking up that are unwanted. So I'm going to go ahead and bend the pelvis there again and see if I can figure out what's causing that. I'll click on the tail and on currently used and make sure that I have show hidden properties checked in these parameter options. And sure enough, I have a JCM pelvis forward morph there that's causing me problems. This one may be a problem because I may need it for the rest of that. So I'm going to try turning that off and see if it messes up. It does, it messes up fit on the lower part of that. So that's a point where I would have to either do a custom morph or use a PA tool that I don't think is accessible to non-published artists. But for the moment, that's what's happening there. You need to either do a custom morph or use a culling method to get rid of that. For now, I'm just gonna zero out that pelvis. And we have a functional tail that we can save to the library. I deleted my tail from the scene and reloaded it to the library to make sure everything worked, and it did. So now I'm going to go to the geometry editor again, Alt-Shift-G, 
And now I'm going to select polygons. This little red ring in my viewport is what allows me to do that. If I hold down with left click and drag, it will select polygons. And you need to hold down control if you let go and then click again so that it doesn't let go of your entire selection that you had before. And then if you want to get rid of some polygons in the selection, as I need to here, you can hold down Alt and drag. There we go. And I'm going to right click in the 3D window now and choose Geometry Assignment, set Graph Faces for Attachment. And it will ask what to assign those to, and I'm going to say Genesis 3 Male. And now I'm going to select Genesis 3 Male. And I need to hide the polygons that will be underneath that graft. And only those polygons. I want them to be completely hidden from view. And you can actually turn the graft back on to make sure that you get all of those polygons of Genesis 3 Male. And I want to go right up to the edge of the graft there. And I will hide the graft again, make sure I got everything. And I will also go around to the front of G3M and make sure I didn't get any front polygons that time. Good. So that's the right patch that we want to be hidden under the geograft. And I'm going to right click and choose geometry assignment, set auto hide faces for attachment. And I will select the geo tail in the pop-up and click accept. Now, so I'm going to save the tail to the library again, overwrite my previous entry. Or if you really want to take precautions, you can give it a new name and save as a new entry. But now I'm going to delete that from the scene. Select Genesis 3 Mail, and I will load my tail into the scene again. It is completely conformed, and if I hide it while it's still conformed, you can see that it now culls those faces from Genesis 3 Mail. So we've created a functional geograft. Next, I will show you how to texture it. Thank you for joining me, and happy rendering!